water won't come. And this is the story of every house in this area of Varansi, a city situated on the banks of Holy Ganges. So, I was a vegetable farm Dwara Pani Chabiso Ghante Uplab. Earlier we used submersible pumps. Water was available 24-7, so we used it lavishly. Sustainable consumption of water never came to our minds. But who would have thought that a day might come when groundwater level will reach such a critical state? Today, we are entirely dependent on the government supplied water for our needs. As people continue to suffer the repercussions of their own actions, the government is trying hard to get things in the right place. As in case of Banars Hindu University, many methods are already being used, such as roadside percolation pits. Water that falls on the roads during rains gets automatically recharged. The diesel locomotive works in the city is also trying to reduce water wastage with its industrial effluent treatment plants and sewage treatment plants. The treated water is used for irrigation purpose up to nearby Lohata farm and kitchen gardening at DLW premises. The sewer over here acts as a great rainwater conservation utility. Sewer is over helps a lot. Every year during rains the water that reaches sewer over gets automatically recharged. This increases soil moisture, leading to rise in soil fertility and also slows down the rate of groundwater depletion. Earlier the groundwater depletion rate was 0.6 meters per year. Now it's much less. There are many positive and negative examples. But in the end, it's not just about water and worms. It's about everything we take from Mother Earth. What we buy, what we share, what we consume, and how wisely we consume it. It's about the whole world, you and me. It's time to accept the fact that our resources are not infinite. And if we don't switch to a sustainable way of life, we won't be left to do anything else.